here doesn't want to have well-defined shoulders and stand-out posture. If you're looking for results and tired of workouts that don't work, you've come to the right video. In today's video, I will reveal the six fundamental exercises to sculpt impressive shoulders. And that's not all, if you stay with me until the end, there's a special surprise that will accelerate your transformation. A tip many are unaware of, but that could be the secret you were looking for. Let's get started. Before introducing the exercises, it's crucial to highlight the importance of not overloading with excessive weights. Always prioritize correct movement execution and maintain adequate range during the exercise. And don't forget, it's essential to have guidance from a qualified physical educator. 1. Dumbbell Shoulder Press This dumbbell exercise is a multi-joint activity. Its significant advantage is providing greater joint flexibility and range, resulting in better anatomical adaptation compared to using a bar. When performing this exercise, the front of the deltoid is more intensely worked, but the lateral and posterior areas are also engaged. Furthermore, muscles like the triceps, trapezius, and rhomboids are activated during the practice. A well-applied technique not only enhances results but also ensures safer practice minimizing injury risks. If you have a condition or injury, it's advisable to avoid movements that exceed shoulder height. 2. Military Press Many believe that the military press even surpasses the dumbbell exercise when training the shoulders. This exercise primarily focuses on the front and rear deltoids, as well as the triceps. Because it involves several muscles, it's highly beneficial for the entire trunk area, although this can make the motion a bit more challenging. Although it may seem basic, this exercise demands attention. Movements involving raising the shoulders above the head require caution due to potential impacts on the joints and cartilaginous structures. It's always advisable to seek guidance from a qualified professional or even consult reliable sources like YouTube videos to learn the correct technique. 3. Lateral Raise Practicing the lateral raise offers numerous benefits for the muscles. This movement is one of the few that focuses on the medial deltoid, the muscle part that significantly contributes to shoulder width. Though it may seem like a basic exercise, many individuals make mistakes that not only compromise results but can also harm the shoulder joint. Let's look at the most common mistakes during lateral raises. Error 1. Opting for excessive weight and using too much momentum. The goal is to isolate the medial deltoid both when raising and lowering the weight, preventing other muscles from interfering with the movement. Error 2. Lifting the weight in front of the body. The exercise is called a lateral raise, not a front raise. By raising the weights with the arms too far forward, often trying to use a heavier weight, the anterior deltoid ends up being more activated, diverting the focus from the medial deltoid. Error 3. Neglecting the negative phase of the exercise. A controlled descent in the lateral raise intensifies the work of the medial deltoid. However, many focus only on raising the weight, often making mistakes 1 and 2, and then quickly drop the weight. Error 4. Lifting the hands above the height of the elbows. By allowing the hands to surpass the elbows during the raise, there is an external rotation of the shoulder joint, diverting from the main objective, which is the abduction of the shoulder. Error 5. Allowing the arms to raise too high. A common mistake is to let the arms rise to a point where they become almost parallel to the ground, exceeding the shoulder line. This usually happens when the weight is lifted more by the elbow, which can cause the upper part of the trapezius to interfere with the movement. A valuable tip, do not hesitate to up for lighter dumbbells to perform the lateral raise correctly. 4. Arnold Press Also known as the Arnold Press, this exercise was conceived by renowned bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger. He created this variation intending to work the deltoid muscles more comprehensively and effectively. The primary focus of this exercise is the front deltoid, but the lateral and posterior regions are also activated during its execution. 5. Front Raise The front raise is a classic exercise for the anterior deltoid region. Incorporating the front raise in your shoulder workout routine is an excellent way to ensure a balanced and harmonious development of this area. 6. Reverse Fly the reverse fly has a significance similar to the lateral raise but focuses on the rear deltoid region. These are some of the main exercises to develop strong and healthy shoulders. 
Token Clue has promised, an effective strategy to maximize results is to adopt the zero-point technique. This technique involves an isometric contraction where, at the end of each repetition, the muscle is tensed and held in a static position for a brief moment without moving the weight. Now, I want to hear from you. Which of these exercises are already part of your routine? And which others would you add to our list? Share your experiences and tips in the comments. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting and educational content. Stay healthy. Stay happy.